update on my physical health. I'm sleeping three hours a night or less. I've got a terrible virus right now. And I'm really struggling to breathe. It's scary. I am. I am scared about where this virus is taking me. Um, right when this virus hit, the pain in my throat, the pain, and I thought if this goes down into my chest, I'm in deep, deep trouble. Almost immediately it went into my chest. I've been on antibiotics for a couple days <clears throat> I cough for hours on end. My diaphragm is and ribs are just exhausted from coughing. You know, sleeping two or three hours a night. I am scared. I am really having a hard time breathing. People with serious underlying issues, health issues. When a virus comes along, it can take you out. A cold or a flu can, it's like uh, elderly people in a nursing home. If you're sick enough, a cold or a flu can kill you. And that's what's happening here. Well, <laughs> I'm saying that People who are already sick are, are, are really at risk with a virus. I've been on antibiotics for days and I'm amazed how awful I feel. And with the not sleeping, I, I just sinuses, throat, chest. I feel so, so ill. I am scared. I'm scared about the KRE malformation. I am critically sleep deprived. And, you know, I try to do advocacy videos of the things that have happened to me with the medical system. And I think it gets too tangled up for people to understand what's happening. I, I feel like I'm fighting for my life with this Chiari and with breathing issues. And I feel like I'm doing advocacy videos before I leave. That's what it feels like. I'm trying to tell my story before I disappear. That's how I feel. <coughs> I can't breathe. I, my, I've been fighting, fighting for health care for decades. About 15 years, 15 years ago, you know, I was involved with psychiatry and I really was fighting for my life and fighting for health care. But my voice wasn't being heard because I was on all those medications, right? And I continued to fight to be heard. And a nasty, there, there's a nasty history with me in this healthcare system because of, of everything, because of being misdiagnosed, because of being on lots of psych medications that I'm no longer on that were making me sick. And now they are keeping my actual health issues out of my health record. My severe sleep apnea, severe disordered breathing, my Chiari malformation, my Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, it's all being kept out of my medical record. So as uh, I'm off all the medications for years, I feel 
I'm not suffering from depression. I feel like so much has, I've solved so much by going off the medications. The ADHD is gone. The depression, the brain fog, the seasonal affective disorder, the PMDD, the sleepwalking, the sleep eating, all these serious issues are gone from going off the psych medications. I didn't sleep when I was on the medications. I'm not sleeping off the medications. The, I had to force them to diagnose the apnea. I fought for years for that to be diagnosed. I was turned away because they, they were saying I was delusional. The Chiari malformation, I've been fighting and fighting for help. I don't sleep. I'm critically sleep deprived. I'm fighting to breathe. And they're holding all of that against me. I've been injured from an epidural. I've been injured um, from a, another surgery. I had a surgery done to me against my, uh, without my consent. The benzo withdrawal and the clone withdrawal almost killed me. Serious things were happening to my heart and lungs with that withdrawal. I've got severe nerve damage from the withdrawal. I'm off all medications for four years on a teeny tiny emergency dose of lorazepam if I want to take it. So that's what's happening with my health. I don't sleep. I'm scared. You know, I'm at I'm I'm at my wits end with not sleeping. This virus is kicking my ass. And I'm disabled. I am weak, sick, I don't sleep. And I am scared because this virus is kicking my ass.